Але в останній момент він віддав збірку Ельзі. Він, мабуть, їй сказав. Але я не хочу, щоб загубилися вірші з Ельми раптом. Мені не вдасться втекти. I want to live. An unusual dramatic performance based on the poems of the Jewish poet Zelma Mirbaum was recently presented in the Trinitsi Drama Theater. This performance is a bit provocative, a bit out there, but it gets through to you in a way. So the idea of the performance Yachot uh, Shuzit, Ich möchte leben, is to bring uh, the poetry of Zelma Mirbaum to young people from today, because we felt when we read it the first time that it's uh, not a ancient, old poetry, which is difficult to read, but she was young, she was a teenager, she was full of energy, and she was uh, thinking about, uh, she was had a universal idea, yes? So she's an individual who's fighting for her right to exist, to live and to love, no matter in which context you live or where you come from. And I think she was killed then in a Holocaust, and I think that is really an important topic we wanted to bring to the young people of today. So groß wie der Schatten von mir auch. Und doch bist du da nur. Lass wie ein Traum in meinem Schoß. This performance tells a story about two people who meet at a party and accidentally find an old manuscript of poems by a young girl. This old manuscript sets the scene for an unexpected love story. It's awesome and so emotional. It's worth seeing. This girl's story is awesome and very interesting. This play shows how important it is to value what you have. We loved it. It's been a while since we've been to the theater. We liked it very much. We studied German at school. We got half of it. It was interesting. They did a great job performing and singing. It was amazing. I'm not a big theater fan, but this play was fantastic. We have a lot of food for thought now, and I even learned some historical facts. The scene of the play is a quiet party. The concept is that actors literally say their lines into their audience's ears. When I saw the play, it really impressed me. It impressed me because it depicts this painful topic from a different angle. I really liked it. It's very original. It's so delightful that they bring such plays to Chernipsy. I usually see plays in the theater. It's usually something original. A combination of electronic music and poetry. It's such a surprise for this drama group to visit. Moreover, those three poems are very intimate, very sad. I could feel how Zama's love gave her this passion to live, the passion she needed so much. The play is acted out in two languages, German and Ukrainian. By the way, the presentation of this play was made possible thanks to the work and initiative of the German-Ukrainian project We Learn to Remember. Thanks to this project, everybody can enjoy this play for free. We are thinking that always our idea to, to, to speak about the past, to speak about the Holocaust, is to speak with unusual uh, uh, methods, not only with books or with lessons like in school. We go to football courts, we go uh, to the streets and now and to the cinema and, and now also we went to the theater. And uh, we see that we reach um, people like that and we can tell the story. The events in the play that took place during World War II, these events were closely connected to our city and the Holocaust, and Transnistria. This not only resonates in our hearts, we see that humanity hasn't worked through it, first of all. We have to highlight it. It is our duty as artists. Zelma Mirbaum, a Trinitsi native and Jew, became the Holocaust victim at the age of 18. However, by some miracle, her poetry has been preserved to this day. By the way, the fact that this play was presented in Trinitsi in the month of October is no accident. On these same days in October of 1941, a ghetto was created in Trinitsi, 
the entire Jewish population was literally locked in this ghetto, and then deportation started. In other words, at this time of year, we commemorate the people who had to suffer through all of that. We commemorate Zelma and her parents who were also in this ghetto. We commemorate the Jews of Trinitsi, every single one who didn't survive the Holocaust. The play was presented for free by the theater group Futur from the German city of Cologne in cooperation with the Lesia Ukrainian Academic Theater of Lviv and with the local Zinfenberg Theater. The idea came from outside. It took some time to get the idea going. It's just that we've never dealt with poetry before, with the poetry of a young girl. And then we started reading her verses thoroughly. And we saw that she wanted to drink life, to eat life, and to dance through life. It's really touching and convincing. According to the host, the play commemorates all of the Trinitsi children and youth who had to suffer during World War II, and also to commemorate the contemporary children and youth who died or have suffered violence during the large-scale aggression of the Russian Federation. We have a lot of refugees here in, in Chernivtsi, from Mariupol, from uh, uh, Kharkiv, and from a lot of other uh, regions in the east who, who are refugees again and came to the city where Zema was. So is, is, this is strongly connected. Theater art is not a peripheral thing. It is also very important for our tomorrow to be projected correctly and for us to be winners in this projection. You know, our, our project Sumose Pamitate is strongly connected to Chernivtsi. We are, we are active in the whole Ukraine, but thanks to our project now, Chernivtsi and Dusseldorf are partner cities, and so we have more possibilities uh, to connect these two cities, to make Chernivtsi and Dusseldorf like a model for other cities, and then we can show to other cities, for example, to Vinitsa or uh, to ivano Frankisk or to Rivne, uh, what we have done here and they can adapt or we can work with them. So.